What's up everybody, it's your boy C. Sams and this is That Comic Talk. So we're talking about DC today. Now, the DCEU was an experiment that happened back in 2013 with the release of Man of Steel. They decided to go with Man of Steel and they decided to go with BVS right afterwards, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. Then they decided to do Suicide Squad. Then they chose to do Wonder Woman. Then they ended up doing Justice League. Then we got Aquaman and we got Shazam. Later on this year, we're going to get Joker, which may or may not be a part of this cinematic universe. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about the guy that was behind it at one time, Zack Snyder. This weekend, Zack Snyder dropped a couple of things for Father's Day and stuff like that. And one of the things that he dropped was a young dark side which was supposed to be in the movie of Justice League. So Darkseid is there and he has the anti-life, yeah, anti-life equation or whatever. He has his machinery behind him and he's standing in the midst of everything. And you know, when I saw this, I, at first I thought it was fake. I, I thought it was, you know, fan fiction and, you know, fans and everything like that. But then I started looking into it a little bit more and I went on his Twitter feed and I was like, wow, he actually dropped that. And I'm saying to myself, you know, what kind of a, I, I know people love Zack Snyder, what kind of a scumbag would do that? And this is why I'm saying this, because you literally ruined, in my opinion, a great character in Superman. You ruined Clark Kent and his whole backstory. You ruined that forever. You've taken Batman vs. Superman and you've ruined that forever. You've taken the Justice League and you've ruined that to some extent. You ruined that. So at, at this point, I, I honestly don't want to see nothing that was supposed to be in your Snyder's cut. It's been two, two and a half years, close to three years since your movie came out. Why are we still talking about a Snyder cut? Wouldn't Snyder just drop this cut if he has no affiliation no longer with Warner Brothers and stuff like that? I mean, what is the harm in dropping your own cut and letting all the fanboys see exactly what you wanted to see when it comes to Justice League? Maybe Justice League wasn't your vision. It was Joss Whedon's way of kind of fixing everything up to make it more appeasing to Warner Brothers and their executives. But maybe you have a movie that you wanted to show. Maybe there is a great pocket of, of fans who actually love Batman v Superman. And maybe this is what you want to give to the fan base, but you're not. You're just dropping little things every now and again so you can remain relevant to people. And I think that is stupid and I think that's snotty of him to actually do anything like that. You know what Marvel did? And I hate to add Marvel into this conversation, but you know what Marvel did? Marvel brought, I don't know, Thanos. He brought Thanos. They brought Thanos. Thanos came to the big screen. And it was the exact same Thanos that we read in the comic books, the exact same Thanos that we saw in the cartoons. But when it comes to Darkseid, we only saw the Omega symbol in a dream that Batman was having. And it was solidified by another dream that he saw with Flash coming in. And none of that even made a difference. Because guess what? Justice League didn't touch on any of that stuff. In fact, Steppenwolf didn't even mention Darkseid at all. So it, it's very, very frustrating to see that you're still dropping stuff two, three years later. For what purpose? There is no purpose. Is there a Snyder Cut? Who knows? Because no one's ever seen it. And I'm pretty sure that there is no Snyder Cut. And it's very frustrating to me because DC is trying to move forward in their property. They're trying to give people a different view of what has been tainted by your vision, Snyder. Your vision is what caused all of these issues. Yeah, you wanted to take a darker approach on Batman. Okay, great. You wanted to take a darker approach on Superman. Okay, that's different. But guess what? You didn't know how to make a cohesive story. You didn't know how to connect all these different characters and bring them all into one universe. You didn't know how to take someone who is bright and chipper as Superman and have them side by side with someone as brooding and as dark as Batman. So instead, you decided to make the entire universe like that, which is weird and a little short-sighted but it's okay 
You have fans, the fans love it. But I feel as though if I was a fan, I would be upset and frustrated that you're sending all these different things out to us. You're giving us little snippets of stuff that doesn't exist, that we don't even see as anything that is tangible. Remember they were talking about doing a flashpoint where they were gonna rewind everything? What is that supposed to be? Where is that information? Are we even gonna get that? No, because Ezra Miller already walked away from the property. Well, at least that's what reports are saying. Well, maybe we're gonna get another chance to give Ben Affleck a, no, we're not, because Rob Patterson is now the new Batman. Okay, great. So maybe Henry Campbell is gonna step in and he's gonna continue to be, no, he's not. He's gonna do the Wicker Man. Is it the Wicker Man? I don't know. Anyway, he's not in the property no more. The only characters that you guys have from the old property is Jason Momoa and Gal Gadot. And even then, where to go from there? It's very frustrating. It's just very frustrating. I saw this and I was so mad because I was like, yo, if I was a fanboy, I would be pissed off. Why are you even putting out these images and we're never going to receive those in the way you intended for us to receive them? What's the point? What's the point? And this is why it is it is hard for a director to give a vision of something that is so one-sided and is so minuscule that it's not going to touch the general audience. And by not touching the general audience, basically what you're doing is you're isolating yourself in a bubble. And guess what, DC fanboys? I'm kind of a DC fanboy, kind of. But because of Zack Snyder, I've fallen away from that. Man of Steel, I enjoy Man of Steel. I like that movie. BVS came out, ruined everything for me. And then Suicide Squad put the nail in the coffin. And then Justice League was a piece of crap. And I was like, man, what's the point? Just cut everything, stop everything, start over. Now Swamp Thing, Swamp Thing has been canceled. And now their entire streaming service is in jeopardy now because they might be wasting money or they're going bankrupt or this is just not the vision that they had. Well, clearly, DC has to get things together and they have to think of, stop thinking about corporate greed and start thinking about us, the fans. But you might have a different view on it. You might see it a little bit different from me. If you do, please comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Tell me, did you like that image that Zack Snyder dropped with Darkseid, a young Darkseid? Did you think that was the greatest thing you ever seen? Have you, do you think you'll ever see it on the big screen by Zack Snyder? Hey, one can always hope. Once again, this is your boy Sam's, this is that comic talk. Sam's out. Why would you even put that image up? It's, it's, it's ridiculous. You put that image up for what reason? To, to appease the fans? Why? So you can show that, hey, this is what I really wanted to do, this is what I wanted to do, but then again, I'm not going to be able to.